thought it might be fun to do some uh, reviews of fountain pens, but with a difference. Rather than using, say, like a, a Lamy, which is maybe 20, 25 pound, or dip pens with kind of various types of nibs, I thought, is it possible to get a good fountain pen, but duck cheap? So my absolute limit is a fiver, including postage. So is it possible to get a good fountain pen for under a fiver? So, first one that we'll look at is this, Pilot V-Pen. Now, obviously, Pilot are a very well-known make, certainly here in the UK anyway. And this is what they call, and it technically is, a disposable fountain pen. And these are around about £3 each, roughly. Three pound, three fifty, depends where you go. Uh, let's have a look at the nib. I'll put a magnifying glass on here, just so you can see it. But the nib really just says Pilot and M for medium. So, the whole idea behind this one is it is, well, they say it's not refillable, but technically it is. You can pull the whole thing out and refill it. But really, for three pound, is it worth the hassle? No, really. So what we've got is the pilot V pen. Uh, this is a, as I say, it's a medium nib, which means that I kind of prefer fine nibs. But yeah, again. It's three pound. Really can't complain for three pound. Um, they say that yes, it is disposable. And obviously, yes, you can refill it. Um, it is actually a no bad pen for three pound. It's really more like a like a rollerball pen. If you were to hide that section, you would think that it's just going to have an ordinary tip on it so it is actually okay for 350 yes it is good there is another one that has new fancy uh, erasable ink uh, it's a v pen as well i uh, tried that it makes absolutely no sense they give you erasable ink in the pen but they don't give you a means to erase it most of the erasable ink nowadays I remember the old hard pink eraser that would just basically rub a hole in your paper. But the new inks work with friction to go transparent. But the V-Pen, which is also a fountain pen, I should say, so another version of this, with the erasable ink, it doesn't give you any way of erasing it. It's just got hard plastic on the end rather than a piece of kind of hard rubber on the end. So I don't know why they did that. But anyway... That is also about 350. And again, it's a good pen. So 350 and it is a good pen. I have some others. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go from relatively well-known makes that are cheap through to really completely unknown makes that are dirt cheap and we'll see how they are. See if they're just as good. <laughs> 